question our next topic is native is standard deviation as we know that standard deviation measure of standard deviation with mainly three measure of deviation like mean median and mode as we know that mean median and mode so now the second is variations that is range we already solved quartile deviation mean deviation and standard deviation so in this time we discuss about the standard deviation standard deviation while looking at the earlier measure of dispersion are of the suffer from one or other genetic that is range it suffer from the serious drawback consider only two value and neglect all the other value of the piece in the quartile deviation considered only 50% of the item and ignore the 50% item in the series form main deviation no doubt and prove the measure but ignore in the negative sign without any bias as we know that in the main deviation we ignore the positive and negative sign and on the other hand basically standard deviation was first of all introduced by the pure pure in 1893 So, Pearson, after observing the all items, he was the most scientific formula for calculating the measure of dispersion. Standard deviation is a part of the measure of dispersion. While calculating the S V, we take deviation from the individual observation from their A M and then the E square. The sum of the square is divided by the total number of observations. The square root of the sum is known as standard deviation. Standard deviation is the most important and widely used in the measure of dispersion, as it first was used by the Carl Pearson in 1893. Standard deviation is also known as root mean square deviation. Standard deviation is defined as the square root of the arithmetic mean from the square of the deviation of the value taken as from the mean. Standard deviation denoted with a small Greek letter, like read as the sigma, as compared. Standard deviation is the most useful, most important measure of standard deviation. Always calculate the arithmetic mean, median, mode is not done today. Definition: On the other hand, standard deviation is for this square root, average square root, and arithmetic mean. So this is the formula of sigma is equal to summation x minus x bar square divided with n whole the under. So this is the formula standard deviation. So on the other hand, some discuss about the difference between standard deviation and the mean deviation. Both these measures of dispersion are based on each and every item of the series, but they are different in some series. Like first of all, algebraic sign of the deviation positive or negative are ignored in the mean deviation while calculating in mean deviation. There as the calculation of standard deviation sign of deviation are not ignored. Basically, this. Big difference in between that is positive or negative sign are ignored in the mean deviation. On the other hand, standard deviation are ignored, not ignored in the this sign. They are taken into account. Mean deviation can be computed either from mean, median, or mode. On the other hand, standard deviation is always computed from the mean because some of the square of the deviation taken from mean as mean. So this is a formula of standard deviation. On the other hand. This is a two method by taking deviation from the actual mean method. Basically, this is computed with the mean value. On the other hand, taking deviation from the assumed mean as we taken from the assumed value in which the mean value that is assume the mean value in the series. So first of all, using the direct method, this is the shortcut method. And basically, three methods used in the standard deviation: actual mean method, that is called direct method; assumed mean method, that is called shortcut method; and the last one, standard deviation method. So, first of all, this is the formula of actual mean method or direct method. Second one is shortcut method. This is the formula. And third one is standard deviation with the continuous series. So. These methods solving with example on the blackboard. So after this, first of all we discuss with the merit of the standard deviation. First of all, merit of the standard deviation as we know that this is the helpful in 
most popular scientific buyer of dispersion. From the standard deviation, we can calculate the screeners, correlation, and etc. Basically, this value are basically helpful in the dispersion. It is rightly defined, it is based on the all observation, considered all the item of the series. Based on the all observation capable of being treated mathematically, for example, the standard deviation of a number of groups are known, their combined standard deviation can be computed. It is not very much affected by the fluctuation of the sampling, therefore, widely used in the sampling theory test of the significance also. On the other hand, demerits of the standard deviation calculate the difficult, not as easier as a range and a quartile deviation. As compared to the quartile deviation and means, it is difficult to understand, difficult to calculate. It is given more important to extreme observation. It always depends upon the arithmetic means, AM. Extreme item gains great importance. Problem regarding this following series. Since it depends upon the unit of measure of observation, it cannot be used to compare the dispersion of the distribution expressed in the different units. So, this is a merit and demerit of the standard deviation. So, first of all, we find out the method, actual mean method and assumed mean method with the help of example on the blackboard. So, first of all, mainly two series. Basically, regarding with this, With the help of individual series. In the case of individual series, standard deviation can be computed by applying any of three method like actual mean method and assumed mean method also. So first of all, we find out the example with actual mean method. The formula of the actual mean method is that is this is the sign of standard deviation. This is the sign of standard deviation. So, x minus mean divided by or also this is a formula. So both are formula of individual series in the actual main method. Small x find with the help of x minus b. So Calculate the actual mean of the series. This is the first step of the series. On the other hand, take the deviation from the mean with x minus mean with a small x. This deviation by x. On the other hand, square the deviation for obtain that total loss. Here, this one. On the other hand, Divided the submission axis by total number of items. So n is a take the square root of it. On the other hand, first of all, we find out the example. This is the formula. And now find out the individual series with the help of examples. First one. With the actual mean method. In this method, first of all, we find out the actual mean of the series. So now, example of calculate standard deviation in the following item. So first of all, 
that is x series 15 20 18 19 20 again 20 28 17 22 and 24 and find out the first of all mean value as we know that the formula of mean that is summation x over n and is the number of observation is we can the total of the number of the series total of the number of the series that is 200 and the number of observations 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so n is the number of observation and the summation x is the total number of observation that is 200 basically mean is equal to 200 divided by 10 200 divided by 10 so the answer is mean 20. So first of all, we find out the mean value and after the standard deviation. And the formula of the standard deviation that is summation x squared over n. As we know that small x, find out with x minus mean. So now let's uh, with the value of Mean that is is equal to twenty. Find out the value x minus mean. X minus mean. So after this, sixteen minus twenty. That is minus four. On the other hand, zero, two, one. 0, again 0, 8, minus 3, 2, and 3. So this is the value of x minus x. This is also called small x value. This is the x series. This is the small x value. After this, we find out the here, square the value that is small x minus 4 multiply minus 4. That is 0 minus 4, 1, 0, 0. 8 multiply 8. 4, 9, and again 4, that is 0. And the total of the series is 90. So first of all, fill in some formula. This equation fit into formula that is as we know that mean is equal to only. And the formula of the series is 98. So first of all, 98 divided by 10. After the under root of 9.8, we find out the value of C point. So this is the answer. 3.13 is a this is called actual mean method. In this method, first of all, we find out the mean value. After that, we take the standard deviation value. So, on the other hand, we find out the assumed mean method. Now, we start with assumed mean method. Actual mean method is the known whole number, but in this fraction, on the other hand, Assumed mean method based on the also called shortcut method. When deviation are taken from the assumed mean, the formula of the assumed mean as it is standard deviation is equal to and 
This is the formula of standardization in the assumed mean method. Find out the deviation with the help of x minus k. They mean assumed mean. X is a x series x vector. So on the other hand, we find out as we know that. Any one of item in the series taken as um, assumed that is denoted with the a value. So let's start with the example. Calculate the standard deviation from problem and the series. Twelve, thirteen, again thirteen, or fifteen. On the other hand, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty-five. This is the value. So first of all, in this we find out the assumed value in the X series. In the X series, we find out the assumed value. That is, we find out the assumed value twenty. Basically, this is assumed. Any one of the item in the series is taken as the assumed value. That is denoted with A. On the other hand, take on the deviation from the item from assumed mean with x minus a. So basically, deviation depend upon the x minus. So as we know that assumed value is twenty. So first of all, x minus seven minus twenty. Seven minus. On the other hand, ten minus twenty minus ten minus eight thirteen minus twenty minus seven minus five zero one eight nine and the thirty-five minus twenty that is fifteen and the total of the value is. Minus ten. So, on the other hand, we find out the square of deviation. Square of the deviation means minus thirteen multiplied with minus thirteen. That is one sixty nine. On the other hand, minus ten multiplied with minus ten. That is hundred. Because minus minus plus. So after this. Minus eight multiply with minus eight. That is sixty four, forty nine, twenty five, zero one. Eight multiply eight sixty four, eighty one. Fifteen multiply fifteen is two two five. And the total of the deviation here is seven seven eight. This is the Value. So after this, we put the this values in the formula. In this formula, as we know that the value of summation b here, so summation b here, the value of that is seven seven eight. So n n is the number of observation, and the total number of observation one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that is n minus so we 
summation d square summation d square with the value this is the summation d square and now we find out the only summation d summation d this is a division minus 10 And the number of operations is there. Basically, we put the this value into the formula. This is a seven seven eighty is mission. D square value and the n is the number of observations. On the other hand, mission D value that is minus ten and the n is the number of observations is ten. Whole square and the whole under root of this value. On the other hand. Divided with the both values, seven seven point eight minus one. This is a seventy six point. After the under root of seventy six point eight, we find out the value of eight point seventy six. So basically, this is a Assumed mean method in the discrete series. This is the formula. This is the formula of discrete series with standard deviation, and the series gives values into the formula. After that, we find out the standard deviation in assumed mean method that is 8.76. So, on the other hand, we find out the discrete series. This is a integer series. Let's start with a new series. That is the discrete series with a new formula. Discrete series. As we know that discrete series, we put with the frequency. In the discrete series, we use the frequency. Under this method, deviation of the item taken from the actual mean that is less than with the x minus mean. On the other hand, we note it with deviation from the small x. As we know that x minus mean is noted with the small x. As we know that. So after this, on the other hand. Put the item on the series. Under the new formula in the three series, that is calculate. Basically, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. This is the X series. Same as it. On the other hand, frequency that is seven, eight, ten, twelve. Four three two. Four three two. So this is the X series and this is the frequency. As we know that the in the discrete series we use the frequency. So first of all, the formula of the discrete series that is. Under. So deviation divided. Find out the x minus this. So let's start with the example. So first of all, 
we assume the value in the axis that is first of all we assume the value we assume the thing as a assumed value on the other hand find out the resolution x minus a as we know that assumed value is x so find out the relation with the axis at uh, 3 minus 6 minus 2 on the other hand 4 minus 6 minus 3 minus 1 so this is a deviation on the other hand we find out the frequency with the multiply with the deviation value frequency multiply with the deviation So basically, minus twenty-one. Camera multiply minus eight. Minus twenty-one. Eight multiply minus two. It's minus three. Ten multiply minus one. Minus ten. Zero. Four. Six. Also six. And the total of the value is minus thirteen. So on the other hand, we find out the F D care value. F D care value find out with the help of F D multiply. So first of all, F D multiply with D value. So minus Twenty one multiply minus three minus. Three. On the other hand, minus sixteen multiply minus two thirty. So after this, ten zero four twelve. And the total of the total of the band is F D square is equal to one thirty nine. This is the F D. So basically, put this value into the this formula. So now, put this value into this formula. This mark is equal to. We have this here is one thirty nine. So now n n is the number of observations. So means total number of observations in the frequency that is forty. This is forty minus three times three. Initial f t is thirty one minus thirty one. And then n is the forty six. Okay. So after the division of this value, sigma three point zero two one seven minus minus thirty one divided with forty six zero point four five. So after the divided minus of this value, we find out the new value is two point five six seven six. After the under root of this item, we find out the new value that is. One point six zero seven six. One point six zero. This is the answer. This is the answer of the one point zero two. The answer of standard deviation in the discrete case. So basically, this is a discrete series. 
we already discussed the individual series in the previous example i hope this series also clear to you